Hi space fans from small blue dot called Planet Earth. Welcome to another Space Dance radio show, 6th one. This is your radio host Alan Macrona. After previous thematic transmission dedicated to Zix Italo Disco Space Scene Collections, we are back in our usual form. Space Dance is radio show dedicated only to Space Scene music, playing music from its beginnings till today. As usual, we will start show with section called News and New Releases. There is a lot of news and new releases and there is even interview with legend. One of my plan is also have interviews with space synth artists, but it depends on them and their cooperation. So let's go. Welcome to Space Dance and Let's Space Sense Show on Let's Radio Italo Disco Net 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 Net. Latest space news and releases include news on Marco De Luna, which is Dutch Mark Lobenstein, new album. Interesting thing is that album was released on May 7, which is Mark's birthday. His new AP called Electro Disco have six new songs and it is released for Dutch Marlo Productions. There is also a YouTube channel with this name. Before this mini album he had another mini album in 2016 called Shimmering Lights and full-fledged album in 2017 with same name. Mark is also known as Mark Moon, Marlo Synthetic Realm and other. He also have profile on Facebook and Discogs. We will listen electro disco song from this new album. Thank you. 
legendary Humphrey Robertson recently did interview. We will listen his interview released on May 4th on Juve Matheson YouTube channel. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi, Pesan. Just came to halt. Uh, we weren't just moving any CDs anymore. Uh, the, the shops weren't buying. They were, you know, closing down the CD uh, department. So it was tricky for us. Uh, I decided just to pack everything in uh, and I went on holiday. And that lasted basically about 10 years. So, you know, I was traveling. I went a lot, a couple of times I went to Australia. Uh, I've got uh, two Land Rovers. And shipped them down to Australia in a sea container and we drove around there for a couple of months and then we came back. Of course, you know, did a bit of work and then went back again. And we kept on doing that, traveling, you know, around Europe. Uh, we did a lot of traveling there. And um, I was always in contact with the fans, kind of so to speak, but not, you know, directly. And then uh, a lot of people were telling me that, you know, a lot of fans are still out there who uh, were interested, you know, in me doing more music and if I was going to ever do anything. So uh, the decision came, I think it was in 2017. And I decided to, uh, you know, build up the studio again and just do some stuff for myself, you know. So, uh, yeah. That was where it all came back, and that's where it all started again. Yeah. So it was suggested to me that I do some uh, some vocal stuff, you know, like some kind of poppy stuff. So I started out with uh, the Future Space, Out of Control. That was the first album that I kind of, you know, got behind the microphone and started, you know, doing some proper songs, make it more, you know, like spacey and kind of, you know, not so popish. Um, it was very, very uh, successful. A lot of people wrote to me and said, oh, it's great, you know, you're doing stuff, and, and especially the, uh, the vocal side. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed that. And that gave me then the idea to uh, do a Humphrey Robertson uh, album. I didn't want to, you know, do like playing Italo Disco, that I used to do in the 87, 88 stuff. So I went, you know, like kind of popish, but still with the synthesizer and you know my, my style. Uh, I even had some recordings that I was I was when I was doing the album. Uh, we did a couple of clips, and so everything's streaming now. So uh, yeah, it's it's all you know with the telephones and with the uh, the internet. It's just completely taken control. So I'm not you know I know bad feelings. I've moved on. I uh, was very sad then. You know I was really disappointed. You know, a bit lost because I didn't know where I was going to go. I mean, you know, it just for me, music was always putting it on a CD or a record. You know, and selling them. You know, and getting getting that. You know, feedback. You know, you have orders coming in. Uh, the comparison is now we just the touch of summer. The uh, the brand new single I just done. I just uh, surpassed uh, 100,000 streams on Spotify. Uh, not sure exactly what that means in, in terms of success, but uh, looks like you know that's the way to go nowadays with the uh, with the music. It's just completely different. Everything's changed. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing for now on. Uh, just you know, releasing music uh, digitally. And, uh, yeah, it's very happy with the success. A touch of summer is thousands of streams, you know, and over 250 uh, playlists we're on, it's, it's crazy, you know, it just hit a spot, I think, you know, this kind of 80s, uh, summer feeling, uh, just, you know, a lot of people like that. Yeah, yeah what can you expect? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, don't have any plans at the moment to do anything, you know, uh, special, I'm just going as with the flow, actually, so. Let's see what the summer brings with uh, Humphrey Robertson and Touch of Summer. Uh, looks like it's going to be, you know, very successful. And uh, have a couple of new things that I'm, what I've got in the back of my mind. I haven't, you know, actually uh, sat down and started producing them, but I've 
done a couple of tracks for Daylight, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing because we've got, I think it's 30 years of Daylight this year. So, I'll have to bring something, I guess. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I expect that will be it towards the fall. Um, and, yeah, everything else will just fall in place. But anyway, uh, just wanted to say thank you very much for all the uh, support. Have a nice summer. Space project Gregory released his first album on May 9. Album came from Greek Grigoris Panagiotidis and it is released for spacesynth.ru. Gregory is new project that came in spotlight on latest Space Holidays 12 with song New Adventures in Space, which we'll hear now. There are 8 songs and space version of song released for Space Holidays 12 on that album.
Cyber people, not cyber people, had one great space album and on it is Cyber Megamix, which we will listen now. Cyber people was Italian project. But this similar name project called Cyber People is short-lived project of legendary Swiss Humphrey Robertson. Cyber People had single in 1993 called The Night for Zix Music. In same year there was one and only album Return of Cyber People released for Hot Sound Records, Snakes Music and Zix Music. You are listening to Space Bands. Cyber People.
Bomb Mix.
Welcome to Space Classics. Space Synth Classics section is dedicated to Space Synth from its origins till 2000. We start with legendary laser dance project of Rob Van Eyck, Michel van der Kuy and Eric Van Liet and their second awesome album called Around the Planet in 1988. 
that was released for many records. First released was for German Galaxies in mentioned year, then year later for Swedish Beatbox. Another release was for Polish Snakes Music and Dutch Hot Sound Records in 1991. It is interesting that on first release there were not one extra song electro based in space version and mega mix volume 2 which other had we will hear space ecstasy song shotgun into the night in space mix version
Continue with legendary Koto and their classic. Koto is Italian space project by Alex and Stefano Zundari with Anfrado Maiola, which was later given to Michel van der Kuy. This song was so awesome that made on many compilations like the best of Italo Disco 8, Zix Italo Disco Space Synth Collection 3, as original Zix remix. Song was originally released in 1986, then re-released in 1995 as single for six years. From space newspaper, somebody's coming to even some bread the earth. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid, television saying, don't look at it. Don't mention it, the world is praying. Somebody's coming from the strange world, a deep voice coming from the earth, strong voice coming from the space.
Treaters and Regulars. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Television saying the word is praying. Somebody's coming from a strange world. Strong voice coming from the space. The final song in this section is from another great legend, Daylight. This is a space project that still lives and it is one of the most lasting, beside Leatherdance. Daylight is duo of Humphrey Robertson and Danny Amsler. We will listen to a great energetic song called Energy from their first album, Man Machine, released in 1991 for Hot Sound Records. Thank you. 
Welcome to Space Dance Show. New Generation Space Synth begins. We are moving forward to New Generation Space Synth. This section is dedicated for Space Synth from 2000 till today. For good morning, there is nothing better than to take absinthe. I mean, on Space Project by Russian Alexander Korolev. It is said that his passion for this music came from listening legendary laser dance, koto and hypnosis, which inspired so many musicians. He had three great albums, Back to Sun in 2008, Earth Light in 2009 and Special Flight in 2011, which is unfortunately end of this project. He now works as Meteora and was also known for cyber attack short space project. We will listen counterflow song from second album.
next one is another Dutch. It is Chris Van Guren and his Destination Mars from his first release for Space Holidays, which was Volume 7. Beside Volume 7, he released songs for Volume 8, 9 and 11. Chris started in 2015 with release of single Aim for the Moon. Under his name, he have three albums. Hope and Destiny in 2016, New Horizons in 2017 and Tierra del Fuego in 2018. There are also five singles. All of albums and singles were released for CFM Media. He is available on YouTube with his channel, Facebook and Twitter.
third song in new generation section will be from one album artist by the name Felle. It is project of Swedish Stefan Olsen. In 2004, he released album Space Journey for Hypersound Productions. On this album were 10 songs plus two mixed versions. We will hear Italo Heaven. Jump up.
Another famous Dutch space synth artist is Jan Schipper. He had two albums, also for Hypersound Productions. First one was in 2006, Return to Tomorrow, and 2007 with Spiral Galaxy. Although he don't have more albums, he is still creating this music. There is many of his excellent songs that were not officially released. There are unofficial compilations like Aces of Space and Hits collection that contains his masterpieces like Eleven Hour, Combat Soldier, Strange World and so on. We will listen Alpha 3 from Second Head. Welcome to Space Dance and Space Sense Show on Radio Italo Disco Net. Net.
Behind active space project called Kirill Savatsky hides, believe it or not, Russia Kirill Savatsky. He is co-founder of electronic music workshop with M. Dul. His other electronic projects are Interchip and Buran 3. Kirill started with single in 2014 called Cosmic Race, then continued with digital album 10 Signals from Outer Space in 2016. New album Source of Delight came in 2018 for spacesynth.ru. From this album we will listen one of his best songs and one of my favorite, Nature Spheric. Same year was his album Disco Morpher released for Hewitt City. You can follow him on SoundCloud too.
Time to slow speed and just chill out with the slower space synth songs. We will finish with short-lived project Trilithion. Trilithion was a synthesizer project started by Huib Shippers in 1990. The project name was briefly taken over by Ray L. Lungo, aka Eric Van Liet, between 1991 and 1994, during which one album and several 12 inches were written solely by El Lungo and with no input from Shippers. There were two albums, Trans Dance in 1991 and Forecast in 1994. Also, there were a couple of singles. Although this project is trance and ambient, there were a couple of songs very similar to Laser Dance style, like Interceptor and Time Breaker. We will hear direct live.
Thank you for listening to this transmission of Space Dance and as always, thanks to all friends that helped in creation and support this show. Goodbye until next Space Journey, which will be another thematic edition. Space Control.